Luxury, comfort, convenience. Everything you need under one roof. Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Rebecca Sedwick jumped to her death last September after being severely bullied. Two teens were charged with aggravated stalking, but the charges were later dropped. We need to fill in this gap. Now legislation moving at the state capitol, likely to be named for Rebecca, will close the loophole that let those accused of bullying off, making it a misdemeanor to bully someone. People need to know that there are boundaries, and right now there are a group of people who simply don't believe that they have any boundaries, particularly on the Internet. School districts find themselves in an awkward position. A lawsuit has already been threatened against Rebecca's school, and the districts told lawmakers that they're already being sued if they act and sued if they don't. People who have said, you didn't do enough to help my child in your school, and I'm suing you. And we have cases over here where you have went too far and I'm suing you. Senators promised to work on the lawsuit problem. Yes, thank you, Senator Simmons. For but kept the bill moving. Although they're not following them around like stalking, but uh, they are so abusive to another person that uh, uh, we need to say enough is enough. Someone convicted the first time could get 60 days and a small fine, but they're more likely to get probation and mandatory counseling. Not so on a second offense. A second time could bring up to a year in jail and a $1,000 fine. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.